Um, but Jeffrey, well, Jeffrey Summer, at least in the show, um, let's look that up. He's he's one of the most interesting characters because like you see like he's he's the type of person with like he has very low self esteem. He's unsure of like his place in the world. He really doesn't th- have like much ambition or think very highly of himself. And like you see why that he's very loyal. Well, you see why that character kind of commits himself to the super charismatic overly confident you know super high self-esteem of christopher dunch and he's kind of like john c Riley to will ferrell in <laughs> talladega nights yes but well i was gonna relate it to like cults of just like yeah. you see jerry summers at least in the show of just like that's the type of character who would join a cult you know like yeah danny I mean, in midsummer yeah and- it's sad that's the sad i love i love that guy like yeah. he's such a fun character. Like yeah, always he going is. to strip club. Like he's like, dude, don't fuck with that guy. He just likes to go to strip clubs and like watch and baseball like, games. That's the thing of just like AKA he, he was someone so, who could be my friend. He was so loyal to the point where he's like, I'll let you perform surgery on me to prove that you're yeah, a good surgeon. I know it's really sad. And but, it it was basically just like Christopher is just done with him. And decides to basically just paralyze him because he can. For what reason? Yeah, exactly. It, just because he can. The only person who had your back? Yeah. And, and it's just like, because he doesn't he doesn't really care. People are, people are useful, and then once, once their usefulness runs out, that's it. You know, he was becoming bigger. He, he was now had privileges at the most... Um, prestigious hospital in Texas. He didn't need Jerry Summers anymore. Right. So he decides to paralyze him for life. Yeah. Um, and he's then, lucky he's in prison. Yeah. And then the real life Jerry uh Jerry Summers died in February of this year from COVID. No, from from his injuries. Really? Yeah. It, it said it was. So it, are, it was can related. They, are they going to charge him again for that? I hope so. I don't yeah, know. they better. I, he's I already got so. life in prison, but they better charge his ass again. He's eligible for parole in twenty uh, he's forty-five. Not, yeah, fuck that. That's way too soon. Yeah, that's way too soon. In twenty forty-five, he'll be eligible for uh, parole. Yeah. Um, but I also so before uh, he meets Jerry Summers, we see he's kind of like uh, he's in college football, mm-hmm. and I like how like. Uh, his his kind of like buddy from college football. He like yeah. almost tries to do the same thing of like grooming him to be an ally, but like it doesn't work because like that character is confident in in himself and does kind of have you know ambitions at least in in football or whatever, and has self confidence. And it's just Wait, like you're talking about you're talking about the guy that's in the locker room. With yeah, him? yeah. And it's kind That's of, so early in the series. I'm yeah. like, I'm having to go back. But uh, but it, you see that like his kind of charm doesn't work on people who are like self confident and like sure of themselves because he does kind of like well, he he does kind of like he does fool the brass of the hospitals and stuff initially. Right, exactly. He, right, he does, and I think it's kind of like in the world of football, you can't just. You can't just get ahead by talking, you know. That's true. He's trying to convince. He's trying to convince that, you know, his coaches at least. I like that. Yeah. He, he tries to convince his coaches at least that he's better than everybody else because, like, what he practices hard or whatever. Yeah. But it's just like you can't get ahead by talking because, at the end of the it's day, the, the other people are just physically much bigger than you are. Yeah. Not even. But. Yeah. You see, he finds his knack in medicine where you can kind of get away with that. Well, dude, it's funny because, like, with sales, which I'm involved in, you know, there is always that moment where, you know, whether I'm selling my services with my company to a prospective client or if I'm on the receiving end of a sales pitch as an artist because I walk both lines, if I'm selling someone, like, there's a moment where they have to, they have to just, throw up their hands and say, all right, like, yeah. I think you're going to do a good job and I'm going to invest in it. Same with me. Like this morning I had a call 
uh, for for my group, uh, I'm on the receiving end of a of a sales call, and I like what he had to say, and I go, okay, we'll do it. Yeah. You know, do I know if he's gonna do a good job? No, it, like I'm saying, you know, when you make a sale, you're you have convinced someone that you could do a good job. Yeah. When you pay for something like that, you're you're making an investment to say, you know, this looks like it could work out. But there's always that moment of persuasion. Yeah. And he was able to do that uh, to a large degree because, uh, you know, again, it's such a specialized thing, yeah. too. Even people that are in the same goddamn room are still hesitant. Yeah. Um, so I, it's a the power of persua- persuasion is you know then you couple that with like all the degrees and and the the, yeah. the prestige and the money and it's just a recipe for a fucking disaster. Well, I think uh, I thought it was interesting the comparison between that and college football because yeah you know I always thought that like if you're able to convince enough people that you're a genius you don't actually have to be one. But you, well, yeah. I but mean, you can't the, convince you can't convince people that you're six four and three hundred pounds. Exactly. I mean, it's like it's like Nexium. It's like yeah, exactly. any type of cult where, you know, you don't even have to look that deep, and you go, "What is? What are you right. even doing? Like, yeah. this is all bullshit." But people that have uh, serious trauma, emotional abuse, yeah. trust issues, uh, you know, victims of assault, sexual assault. There's there's unfortunately there's tons of things that weaken your ability to have your you know there there's the wrong people could take advantage yeah. of those vulnerabilities exactly and that is you know that's you you just described an abuser and I'm talking yeah. about like you know abusers I said this in my breakdown of just like abusers are just as good as grooming allies as they are at grooming victims yeah it's all persuasion yeah because he's able to persuade people like Jerry Summers um, Mm -hmm. to follow him and be loyal to him he's able to convince you know um, Kelsey Grammer's character to convince him that he's a genius and he doesn't need the required hours of training to be a certified neurosurgeon. Well, he was also he he and was seeing the fin- green. He was yeah. seeing green. Yeah, he, and there's know. the financial aspect to it too. But when you're when you're seeing green, man, you're yeah. not thinking straight. I mean, I even like I, I noticed that too. Like where you know you can't just you can't just see green all the time right. because you're gonna fucking like you you you're gonna like end up saying something you don't mean or, or agreeing yeah. to something that, you know, you ever agree to something and then you go, why the fuck did I agree to that? Yeah. Because in the moment, you, you know, you're seeing green or you're yeah. seeing an opportunity and then you, you're you like, you, you, you got to fucking, it's never worth it, man. Right, right.